Alright, so basically after three months of ownership, I can now safely say that 500D is by far the best electric car you can buy. If you're thinking about getting an electric vehicle, stop. Watch this video, I'm going to tell you why to get the 500D if you're on a budget. So I started looking at electric vehicles because I had heard you don't have to pay for gas, you don't have to pay for, you basically all you have to worry about is changing your tires and your window wipers. So I started doing my research, I started having a look into electric vehicles and I originally started out looking at Nissan Leaf but I didn't personally like it. I thought it looked a little bit boring and the range wasn't that great. It only had about 80 miles range. Uh, I looked at the BMW i3, that was a little bit out of my budget. And then I had a look at a Tesla, which was way out of my budget, but it was a very nice car. And then I found the 500D and it was really interesting because I didn't actually know it existed. Basically, California requires car manufacturers to meet a certain emissions requirement. And Fiat Chrysler, obviously selling the Hellcat and all these really powerful petrol guzzling cars, they actually had to make an electric vehicle to kind of balance it out. And the Fiat CEO was actually famous for saying, don't buy the 500D, it's losing us money. We're rolling out as a CEO of Fiat Chrysler and he's showing you the new 500 electric, which I do have. I hope you don't buy it. Because every time I sell one, it costs me $14,000. <laughs> right? So I'm honest enough to tell you that I will make the car, I'll make it available, which is my requirement, but I, I will sell the limit of what I need to sell and not one more. So they only sell the 500D brand new in California and Oregon at the moment. There's been rumor that they're going to sell it in Texas in a couple of months, but don't buy one brand new. Buy it secondhand, you can get really good deals on some of the older ones from Carvan, and they're the exact same thing. Basically, the 500D came out in 2013, and up to date, they've not changed anything. The only thing they've changed is like low center dash. So if you're thinking about getting a brand new one, it's not different, don't get it. Anyway, let's go and have a look at the inside and the outside and see how it drives. So let's see how fast we can get from 0 to 60. And 60. There we are. All right. Try find a 500E that has an eSport package. This gives you the kind of orange stripes that go along the sides of the car and the wheels and on the side mirrors. Second thing you want to look out for is a sunroof because you're definitely going to want to use it. The AC uses so much power it can reduce your range by about 10 miles. So you really want to look for one of those. The interior is really nice. It's got some heated leather seats, a tom tom that talks with the computer to show you your range on the map, and a push button transmission. In the back you have a little tire kit, this is because there's no spare tire, and a little 120 volt charger that charges your car in about 24 hours. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, remember to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.